Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm doing a little raw vlog to celebrate seven years since getting out of the Navy. So we're doing things raw tonight because I got some projects and stuff rendering. If you can't hear the fan on my laptop, just cranking. Apologies for the noise, uh, but it is what it is. Shogun I, my guys. It's fucking raw, baby. So that said, let's get into the topic at hand. So on this day... September 24th, 2015, exactly seven years ago, well, in Japan anyway, <laughs> I was officially discharged from the U.S. Navy. And the reason behind that um, was because of weight issues. And the reason that I gained so much weight was because of all the stress and everything that comes with uh, being stationed overseas, especially in 7th Fleet. And for me, I'm a stress eater. So when I didn't really have an outlet to, uh, to relieve that stress and just more and more stuff was getting piled on, I just didn't have time to really do anything else. Um, I just stayed at home, ate a bunch of really bad food and drank a lot and subsequently gained a bunch of weight. So when it came time for a uh, moment of truth, um, when I failed my uh, physical fitness assessment, I was given the unique opportunity to stay in the service. Uh, they would put me on a program to lose weight and stuff like that, or I could just out process. And I decided since I was literally fat and miserable that uh, I would just out process and uh, continue on to uh, get my college edumacations, which is exactly what I did. So I didn't lose any sort of benefits. I got out uh, as an honorable discharge. Uh, the only thing that I lost with getting out in that way was I couldn't take terminal leave, so I had to buy back all my leave days, which actually ended up working out great for me because I was able to put a little bit of extra money into my savings. So all as well ends well on that front in any event. So as you guys know, the whole story from there, um, you know, I went to college in Kalamazoo, Michigan because I initially didn't think you could study abroad in Japan. I was going through the whole college thing in America. Wasn't really working out. Took a break to stay with my folks uh, to work on video projects. Uh, eventually got in contact with an old shipmate of mine who was going to Temple University in Japan. And I talked with them about that and you know found out, hey, I could actually use my degree to study in Japan. I don't have to wait till I have the degree to go over there and be a Joe Blow English teacher. I could just do it right now. So I was like, all right, cool. So I decided to stay with my brother for a little bit to save up, get my GPA back up to snuff, and uh, go from there. And that's exactly what I did. At the end of 2019, came back to Japan to study at Lakeland University of Japan. Uh, everything went to hell in a handbasket during the uh, 2020 because <laughs> of the you-know-what. Um, but despite all that, managed to get both my associates and my bachelor's degree from Lakeland University of Japan, and still here in Japan, doing my thing. And it's all thanks to my time in the service. So even though things didn't end on the best of circumstances uh, for my time in the Navy, uh, you know, I actually lost a lot of friends because they were, uh, you know, kind of hating on me a little bit because of the reason why I got out. Uh, but despite it all, at the end of the day, I did exactly what I wanted to do uh, for my time in the service. I got exactly what I wanted out of the Navy and couldn't ask for any more, really. You know, you can even go back and look at some of my old videos where I talk about uh, joining the Navy. And even back then in 2009, 2010, I was saying, you know, I just want to join to go see the world. Maybe get stationed in Japan, maybe. <laughs> and uh, just use the GI Bill to go back to college, get my degree so I can go to Japan, finally. But I ended up going there just a little bit earlier. So, and eventually came back, all thanks to the Navy. So, very grateful and appreciative for my time in the service. Um, gotta say that joining the Navy was the best decision of my life, and also leaving the Navy was the best decision of my life. 
And I've got to say, things have been working out for me pretty well post Navy seven years later. So, with all that said, guys, this is Andy. Signing for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.